September 16, uh, 2018, as I was uh, getting home from church and I received a call. It was my brother. He said, I have to tell you something and I, I need you to, to stay strong. And I, at that moment, I was shaking. I, I, I knew it was bad news. Then he said, uh, there was a car accident and our dad passed away. That is the most painful time that I had to go through in my life. I was so frustrated. I didn't know what to do. I was so confused. I felt like, oh, why is this happening right now? Like, are, are you kidding? Like, are you kidding, God? You are doing this? Uh, you are you are taking my, my dad from me? I asked uh, Pastor Greg, like, do you think that my faith can change uh, for things like this? And he said, he said, there are things that we cannot understand that go over uh, above our understanding, but just know that God loves you so much that he wouldn't do something like this, uh, that he didn't take your dad, but he loves you so much that he will use this opportunity for his glory. I decided to to do what I what I have learned from from leadership here at, at C3 and is to pray to pray through the struggles to pray through the storm to pray uh, through the battle and we prayed we prayed and it was so so amazing I don't know I don't even know how to describe it but it's something inside of me that felt like God is telling me yes <laughs> I'm here with you. I had so many questions and so many doubts, but I feel like God, God never abandoned me. He was, he was with me every day, holding my hand. Uh, he provided in advance this community. He provided C3, these leaders, uh, his word, everything in advance for me to, to stay strong. And I cannot like deny how much God has has held me strong, how much He has helped me. I walk this journey, and I'm so thankful for for that right now. Like I, I don't think I could be here right now, like sitting down, if it wasn't for God and for the family that He has provided to me.